Hi Capricorn and welcome to your weekly love tarot forecast. This is for the week of November 19th through November 25th, 2018. So Capricorn, let's see what the overall energy is between you and anybody else you are dealing with this week or just your vibes about love and romance in general. Okay, Capricorn, so we have Full Moon in Aquarius. Show the world the real you. Okay, Capricorn, this coming out tells me that you or um, the person you are involved with or both of you have been kind of holding back, haven't really um, been sharing fully how we feel, what we think, what we want. Um, I'm feeling like we've been holding back like how much we really do care or how much we truly are interested in somebody or they're holding back how much they are really in love with you or really care about you or really interested in you. Now, since this is a general reading, um, you know, there could be somebody in your life, Capricorn, that you kind of feel like wants more from you romantically, but you're not interested. So they like, and they know that, so they kind of just play the guise of, hey, I'm just your friend, okay, um, that is definitely one scenario, or you could be doing that with somebody you're interested in, and you know they don't want to be with you for whatever reason, and so you're just being their friend, holding back, um, this could be where we're dating somebody, and we're both very interested in each other, but one of us is holding back, or if we are in a committed relationship, this might be where you know, there's different things we need to talk about, different things we need to say, but we're we're kind of holding back for some reason. We're scared. We don't want to put it all out there, but we need to. And those of you who are single, single, it's time to let yourself shine just a bit brighter and um, make yourself far more noticeable and out there than you have been, okay? So let's pull some cards to see... If um, what the emotions are and what's going on and uh, you're going to have to decide which side of this reading is most speaking to your position, okay? So over here, look at this. We have new love and over here on the side we have calling in soulmates. So Capricorn, this is beautiful. Um, those of you in existing relationships, listen. I feel as though this week could bring about a deeper, closer connection with new love, but it comes through communication and really showing your true colors and allowing your partner to show their true colors, all right? So those of you in a committed relationship, we could um, find ourselves falling in love again or having a new appreciation and understanding of each other. But if there's, we've got to communicate, we cannot hold back. Those of you who are dating, yeah, I see it equal. Like, um, you both are really kind of just holding back, not telling each other how much you really dig each other, how much you are into each other. Those of you single, single, listen, this week, love could be knocking on your door with new love showing up, okay, uh, and calling in your soulmate on the other side there. Um, but more to the point, there is love for you. You've just got to get yourself out there to make sure you can align to this opportunity, Capricorn. So let's pull some more cards. Okay, so over here, we have the full moon, so we have power. Very nice, yes. Um, Capricorn, if you are falling for somebody, you are feeling it incredibly strong, okay? You are really into somebody this week. Um, if this is a new person that just shows up this week, it's like instant connection. If this is somebody you've been, you know, seeing or dating, it's like you guys are really going to the next level this week. Just the bond is going deep. Those of you in committed relationships, yeah, it's this new dimension, this new level of love, and you are really just feeling it. So over here, wow, look at this. We have the thunder moon. Change. So it's like if we've been at an impasse, we're ready to move beyond that. Whatever we've been holding back, we are ready for that to change over here on this side. Those of you super single, you are 
ready. You want that soulmate connection. You want that in your life. You've got to put yourself out there. And if there's somebody that you are kind of interested in, you know, even if you got rejected Capricorn, it does not hurt to put yourself out there. It doesn't, okay? It helps build courage and build a thicker skin, but I just you might be surprised okay or somebody could be knocking on your door this week and they're just like I really want to give you a shot like I really want to see if this could go somewhere so let's pull some more cards okay bonus what do we have ninth house faith yeah 33 you super singles, you got to believe there is a soulmate out there for you. And it's all about divine timing, okay? And it's almost like they've got to change their mind about something, whoever this person is. Also, keep in mind that Mercury is retrograding through the ninth house of Sagittarius and Jupiter just returned. So, all of us are getting a very deep understanding, spiritual knowing about why certain things have happened didn't work out and I see that playing out for you guys this week okay over here wow look at this Scorpio I transform over here we have Grand Cross the provoker yeah wow listen Capricorn whatever troubles you have faced in your current partnership those of you committed we can absolutely overcome them um, it's like you're partner has a lot that needs to be changed but also you as well with um, this I transform those of you in these like new relationships meeting somebody new crushing on somebody oh my god you guys just have like this connection that is un like I can't even put into words okay but you guys like, hold back we the person you are pursuing I feel is holding back more than you <clears throat> more than you are they I think have more apprehension more fear more concerns or there's more going on in their life pulling them in different directions now typically I read this is your energy this is who you're involved with but if this is more you read it that way um, but yeah it's like over here I've got a lot going on or I, I'm really apprehensive I'm nervous I'm afraid um, I don't know what to do and over here, it's like, oh my God, I just, I want you. I'll do whatever it takes. Like, this is, you're the one. You are the one for me. And um, I don't want to hold back anymore. So let's pull some more cards, Capricorn. This is looking good. And we do have Venus that just went direct in uh, Scorpio. So we do have that here as well, all right? Um, it's like... Maybe Capricorn, for some of you, it's just like, bam, you are all of a sudden in love again. Um, or it's just like you're falling in love with whoever you're with. It's just like you're going to this new level. Um, whoever you're dating, it just, wow, it's like, boom, nope, you're the one. You're the one. You are so the one. Like, that's what I see. All right, yeah, look at first card out, High Priestess. This is that soul knowing, that soul connection of you are my one, but there's still many things that are hidden and unknown. And look at this, Four of Cups. Some of you are missing somebody specific. Palace of Cups, um, a lot of emotion involved. And right here, deep, deep, deep emotional and spiritual connective type of energy. Some of you, you are um, estranged from this person, I feel, at this time, and they have a lot of changing to do before you can come back together, and you're recognizing that, but Capricorn, they really do love you. They do. Um, also, those super singles out there, uh, this is you right here, dreaming of that soulmate, wanting that um, relationship that connection really feeling it quite profoundly and strongly this week but listen there's opportunities that you are missing Capricorn and it's because you're holding back or you're not putting yourself out there somehow some way look at this we have the king of swords so this could involve an air sign Gemini Libra Aquarius or this could be you where we're analyzing too much. We're too much up in our head. We need to get more in our emotional body and trust the connection, the soul connection, the emotional connection, and no longer hold back, okay? Yeah, because look at Four of Pentacles. 
holding back, being selfish. I'm not going to speak my heart. I'm not going to speak my mind. I'm not going to tell you what I'm really thinking and what I'm really feeling. Um, I'm feeling kind of scared or nervous about it. We've got to open up. We, we can't keep holding back. Um, whether that's you or the person you're dealing with or a combination of the two because there's a lot of emotion for both, all right? And there is a soul connection here. We may have lost our way if we are in a current committed relationship. We may have lost our way. We may not be seeing eye to eye. But we open up and really communicate. We can uh, find new ground and... Um, if somebody really has to change, Capricorn trusts that whatever needs to happen for that to happen, go with it. Even if it means like a breakup or something, because sometimes things have to fall apart so they can fall together, right? So um, over here, we're going through some transformation, realizing who we truly love and like you are the one. And over here, it's like, okay, yeah, I know who I belong with, but there's like change. Um that needs to take place there's a settling of energy of, of thoughts like um they could be of a couple different minds about what they want or um just what's going on in their life that may have nothing to do with you whatsoever and they're just really stressed out you know and there's things they've got to change so over here purification fire the naked truth and over here, um, we have Ganesh. This is clearing away obstacles. So this is beautiful outcome energy for this reading, actually. Um, it, we've got to come clean, okay? Whatever we're holding back, whether it's like true love, professions of feelings, a secret, whatever it is, it's like we've got to come clean 100% not just here but also here because the fears are quite unfounded unwarranted um we're holding back there's something that's not being said not being shown um but it, it feels positive to me like it's a lot of emotion okay and if we could just meet halfway and communicate and feel safe this side more than this side um it's like things can can blossom and flower. And those of you who are really missing somebody and you're estranged from them, they have a lot that they need to work on, okay? They're still in a very selfish kind of place, stuck in their ego, where it's me, 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 it's all about me, and hoping for some magical solution to their problems or to whatever happened. You are coming into deep truth, understanding, all right, Capricorn, and seeing them, seeing what you've been through in a whole different perspective. And know that before you guys can reconcile, they really have a lot they must sort out, you know, within themselves, 100%, okay? They're still very much emotionally detached, in their ego, in their head, being selfish, woe is me, let me play the victim, hoping for some magic, and that's just not how it works. Like, they've got to really come into some deep understanding, even if they didn't do stupid things and or anything like that, it's, they've got to connect more to their heart and their soul before you guys can reconnect, okay? So Capricorn, those are your messages for this week. I'm wishing you all the best. Take care.